building your walls. On your floor plan, you'll notice you have exterior walls all the way on the outside of the perimeter. And then these interior walls are also called partition walls. So anywhere and any time you have two walls that meet, you have either a T or a corner. In this corner right here, you actually build a piece that looks like that. It's a common stud, a common stud, and three filler blocks that would stand in this corner in the long wall. On the first wall that you build, you'll build your long walls first. And then when you build your short wall on this side, you'll actually just put a single common stud in the end. And when it rotates up, it'll nail together. And the idea is that they make a corner so that you can hang your finished, uh, finished wall, drywall material on. Here, where we have two walls to come together as partition wall, you make what's known as a T, because it's kind of T-shaped from the top side. And it goes in the middle of the wall with the common stud, common stud, three filler blocks. This time, the filler blocks go in a different orientation. And then when you stand up this next wall, you're able to lock them together to have somewhere to nail. And also gives you some room on the back side to actually run plumbing and electric and stuff. So let me show you how to construct T's and corners. You're going to need two pieces of common stud material and three pieces of filler block. And for this first one, we're going to make a T. The way I like to do it, I kind of lay it out so I can see what I've got. Then you've got to make sure that the ends of these are lined up flush with each other. I take my speed square or anything to hold it in line, push it, get it squared across each other, push them into the speed square, and I'm going to clamp it with the side of my hands to hold it in place. Take your brad gun, come on the side, flip it around. Make sure I'm square on the ends. Clamp it together. You'll notice that some of the brads came out at angles. That's from when I was shooting into the gun. I wasn't necessarily straight perpendicular. I was at a little bit of an angle coming into the side here, and it actually shot out the bottom a little bit. Sometimes it's easier if you pull it to the side of your table to actually shoot it. It's okay if they're a little bit. Then you're going to want to take your hammer and flush down any of these brad heads that are still sticking up, and that's a T. So on this project, one of the first things you'll do is count how many T's you got. I have a wall here with a partition coming in, that's one T. Another wall with a partition, that's two T's. So if you remember when we do, um, you do your takeoff, you'll notice that you need two T's. Now to build a corner. It's simpler than a T. It is still a common stud, a common stud, and three, and three block filler blocks. Take two common studs. The filler blocks really doesn't matter what size you use. I use a little bit longer ones than when I'm uh, doing a T versus a partition. This time I'm going to let gravity be my friend. I'm also making, like when we're building girders, I'm making sure that the three of them line up together. And I'm going to do uh, double taps. Come down, I'm going to feel the sides of that filler block. Flip it over. And that's the corner. So on our project here, on our floor plan, we have one, two, three, four corners. You're going to need to make four corners. As a reminder, the length of the common stud on this 
if our walls on a two inch model, if our walls on the real build are eight feet tall, for every two inches equals one foot, so on the model, our total wall height is gonna be 16 inches. Remember, you have to deduct for a bottom plate and two top plates. So I'll take 16 and deduct an inch and a half for the th thickness of the three boards, I end up with 14 and a half inches. Your common stud length is 14 and a half inches. You're gonna to wanna to frame your T's and corners first. You're also gonna to wanna to do your trimmer king and header combinations, which are covered in another video that you'll use around each of the door and window openings. Frame all that together, frame those pieces up, then you'll lay out your floor plan and then erect it and put it together in one piece.